Hey, what's up folks? Welcome back to Reef Under the Roof, our Kapoor series. My name is Goran, and today we're talking about phosphates and nitrates. What you should do in the beginning, you should listen to your calls and your test kits. And that way, you're gonna know if your calls are doing well, and you know where you're at as far as your phosphates and nitrates go. And test in the beginning as much as you can, just so you can get a hang of it. You're gonna get more relaxed in your numbers, and you're gonna get more confident in yourself in managing those numbers. And afterwards, as you progress more as a hobbyist, you can slowly, but very slowly, start raising the nutrients a little bit higher up, raise your lighting higher up, and you're gonna have more success in keeping those acroporas. Acroporas don't like to be deprived of their nutrition. So what I suggest for you guys is to feed a variety of food, frozen, pellets, flakes, smaller food, bigger food, and in that way you can take care of all your corals and your fish, and just be consistent with your feeding amount, be consistent with your dosing, if you're dosing phosphates and nitrates, be consistent with your water changes. Just find that equilibrium where you're gonna keep phosphates and nitrates stable and where they should be. In my experience, phosphates and nitrates are kind of working like a sunscreen. The more lighting you have on top of your corals, the higher those phosphates and nitrates levels have to be in order for corals to protect themselves from all that high part that they have on top of them. And I think that's one of the main reasons why the perfect levels for phosphates and nitrates has been very controversial in this hobby. And in my experience, when you run higher values of phosphates and nitrates, Corals will build thicker tissue on them, it will build their immune system, and no matter what you have going on in your tank, you have alkalinity spike or phosphate spike, or anything goes out of whack, your corals will do way better in those high nutrients values. But keep this in mind, if you just started your tank and it's brand new, you wanna keep your phosphates and nitrate on a lower level. And afterwards, when your tank gets older and mature, you can keep those levels even more elevated. If you just picked up your coals, I suggest for you to take pictures of them on a weekly basis. Since you're a beginner, you're not really familiar with the coals you're getting and how they should look like when they're healthy or not. So when you get them, take pictures of them and especially during the night when lights are off, you're gonna see if your corals have more like pale appearance or darker appearance and that way you can track if the tissue of your coral is getting more thinner or more thicker which is going to tell you if they're getting the private nitrates and phosphates or they're getting too high of a lighting or they're getting excess nitrates and phosphates and they're not getting enough lighting and that's why I suggest for you guys to test those phosphates and nitrates and test the par values of your lights and that way you can match it and make your corals happy you never want to run your phosphates on a low end and nitrates on a higher end or opposite since that way you might run into promoting different type of weird algae your system and even the corals don't really like it if you run your phosphates and nitrates in a low end run them both in a low end and if you raise one raise the other one as well if you made it so far feel free to like this video subscribe go and check out all my other videos on my current acropora series with all that out of the way see you guys in the next video